Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. Today, I'm going to be transforming myself head to toe into Ariana Grande. This is just for fun now, okay? Like we were thinking like should we do Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadi, Ariana Grande or whoever and then the team all collectively decided that Ariana Grande is very beautiful so that's why we want to transform myself to look like her. I've got quite a few inspos lah. I'm gonna leave them over here. We're also gonna be doing the outfits that she usually wears um, and I think we're doing five outfits. I try my best to look or find pieces that are as close to the pictures as much as possible but of course I don't have like all of her things so yeah it's uh, it's just an inspo okay so let's get started with makeup the inspo that I have over here is somewhat like a ABG style kind of makeup I realized that Ariana Grande like her makeup style is quite Iconic, like I think her iconic statement about her look, right, is usually her hair, and she's got a nice like cat eye wing to her look, and it's usually quite natural. Like in terms of colors, it's very muted. It's always very matte as well. So the first one I'm using is the Face Shop Ink Lasting Foundation, and this one is one of my favorites for like on days where I really need my makeup to be very matte and lasting. What I'm doing is, I'm just applying more. <laughs> so I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury brush to just like stipple the foundation on. She also usually has somewhat like a seamless contour, so I brought a darker shade of foundation um, to kind of like mimic that but of course we are going in with another layer of contour later on and also taking my Fenty Match Sticks in Mocha I'm going to be contouring but I'm going to be applying it at the back of my hand and mixing it a little bit with my foundation earlier on I'm just applying it Layer by layer. So she's got quite a nice distinct cheekbone. So I'm gonna sculpt that. So same thing, taking mocha. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush first. Starting from your brow bone, or rather this hollow area. Now time for brows. I am just taking my usual Estee Lauder Brow Multitasker. It's got like a more lifted brow look. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm ending it here and then just arcing it upwards. And I'm taking my concealer palette to just cover out the brows. So this is by Ipsa. I am honestly using it only because I bought it. I don't really think it's great. So we're just cleaning up the brows over here. Now it's time to bake the rest of the face and I'm using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This one really gives you that a little bit like kind of glow from within kind of look. So I'm just taking a puff to set it all in. Like so. And I'm doing a little bit of a bake so that I can brighten up this area. My God, I, 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 
I think I look quite different. Eh? <laughs> Why? Okay. Now, we'll do the cut crease. I'm going to be using my One Size Beauty Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette and I'm just taking the Manila Sense white shade over here. And I'm first just going to create a base colour. I'm going to cut the crease and I'm first using um, this shade called Soft Surf over here. Okay. And then I will slowly blend it out. Now, I'm going to kind of like balance the bottom part of the eye with the same shade, but just on the outer third. Like so. Next up, I'm going to be drawing my eyeliner. So, she's got a very iconic cat eyeliner look. Um, and for this, I'm using my Rare Beauty eyeliner. Shake it up first, and you want to see where you want the wing to end. I think for me, it will be here. Alright. Back to the concealer. I'm going to just cut the crease like so. And same thing, you want to clean the brows a little bit more. And then darker shade. I'll bake. Time for the lips. I've got um, Kat Von D's Lolita, which I feel is very her, like a little bit of a mauve muted shade. And her lips are very full, so I'm going to kind of overline my lips a tiny little bit. Of course, not too much because I don't think I look very good with like overlined lips. Now time to contour. I've got my Etude Contour Powder and I'm taking the, I, I guess a, a mixture of both to just lightly dust. Blush, my usual, NARS Behave. I think her blush colours are pretty mauve-y. Like, okay, I'm going to go in with a bit of Benefit's Gold Rush as well. And she applies her blush like almost horizontally all the way to like the temples all right and in my inspo photo she's got a bit of gloss so i'm using rare beauties nearly mauve just in the center Not forgetting highlight, this is the last step. So let's highlight our face. I'm gonna be using Fenty's Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I'm first taking Mean Money, which is like a more like satin color. I'm just highlighting this area. And of course, just at the tip of the nose with Hustler Baby. She's also got a little bit of an eye bag situation here, so that's what I'm doing. And I am just drawing a little bit of the crease, a bit more obvious. 
All right, so this is the makeup done. Last Christmas, yeah. <laughs> My favorite Ariana song is Almost. Y'all know the song, Almost is Never Enough. Um, now I'm gonna be transforming the hair. Alright, so I've got my hair in a high ponytail. Uh, I've put on some earrings and brown contact lenses because her eyes are dark brown. And I've got some hair gel over here. I'm gonna make my ponytail like really sleek. So just a tiny little bit. It doesn't even have like baby hairs sticking out. So say no to baby hairs. And I've got hair extensions. Courtesy of Cheryl. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a ponytail type um, which I've straightened and I'm just going to cinch it on. Something like Ariana Grande is really just known for her hair extensions, I guess. Like her freak, her very, very, very long ponytail. The final look of my Ariana Grande transformation. Now let's get on to the outfits. 